my friends, let me ask you a very interesting question today. What do Albert Einstein, Walt Disney, Steven Spielberg, Kira Knightley have in common? Think. Not sure? Well, the answer is that they are very famous, successful and dyslexic. And what is that? In today's episode, let us learn about this neurological condition called dyslexia and spread awareness about it amongst our friends and family. Zoom in! We live in a world full of unique and different people. People with different eyes, hair, skin that gives us distinctive personalities and functionalities. But there is one element that we all possess that looks the same but functions differently. And that is our brain that can see and understand the world differently for different people. One of those ways is through the perspective of dyslexia that affects our ability to read, spell, write and speak clearly. Unfortunately, people with dyslexia are often misunderstood as not so intelligent. But remember my friends, that is not the case at all as it has nothing to do with intelligence. And it's just their brains finding it challenging to process specific tasks at a reasonable speed. Yes, my friends, despite having normal and even high intelligence, a dyslexic person may show certain symptoms such as difficulty in remembering the right names for things, problems with directions like telling right from left or up from down. They may need more thinking time to remember the right word and for some, it could be challenging to hold a pen or write by hand and much more. But the main problem in dyslexia is trouble recognizing phonemes. For example, the basic sounds of speech like B in bat and P in pad are often mixed with one another. But the most crucial question is, what makes a dyslexic person so unique? Well, to know that, we need to enter their brain to analyze the whole situation. As we know, the brain is divided into two parts. The left hemisphere takes care of processing the language and is the more academic and logical side of the brain. And the right hemisphere is the more artistic and creative side of the brain. Scientists have studied that brains of those with dyslexia rely more on the right side of the brain and frontal lobe as compared to the brains of non-dyslexic people. This means when they read a word, it takes a longer route through their brain and can get delayed on the frontal lobe. And because of this neurological condition, they find it challenging to undertake tasks depending on the left hemisphere of the brain, such as reading, writing, solving math problems, etc. But here is the good news. A person with dyslexia may see things differently, but it could really work in their favor as well. Yes, even though they struggle with reading, they can be very good with painting, inventing things, singing, telling stories and making people laugh. And eventually, just like many other successful and revolutionary dyslexics, they have the ability to see the bigger picture. Trivia time! 
Did you know the word dyslexia comes from two Greek words this which means difficulty and lexis which refers to language or words Also the dyslexic brain is actually larger and typically much more creative than the average brain Remember my friends Next time if you see your friends or family members struggling with reading or writing make sure to understand their situation and help them to realize that it's absolutely okay to be that way Don't tease them or bully them because you never know you might be looking at tomorrow's Einstein or Da Vinci or Whoopi Goldberg or even better their unique self that has the power to change the world think about it until next time it's me dr binox zooming out hey kids you liked my videos didn't you before you go don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos <laughs> see you